Coach Sage Kande of higherrunning.com and a Hoka athlete here with a quick downhill technical trail running tutorial. These are some quick and dirty tips getting down the trail safely and effectively and efficiently to help minimize the risk of tripping and falling, but also to conserve your energy for those technical gnarly mountain trails you may be trying to run down faster. Let's get started. So for technical sections, you really want to be throwing your arms around, right? It's not very uniform. You're not going to have a typical arm swing. You need to counteract the balance and the side to side motion of your momentum and your weight with your arms. So feel free to swing them wide, swing them high, use them to balance you. Your legs are going to have to be flying side to side on these technical rocks. So you're going to have to spread your arms Kind of think like you're flying. Maybe you do the windmill a bit, uh, like here. I'll show you. I'm coming down this. Got to throw my arms around a bit to counteract the technical part of the trail. All right, tip number two. Take little, quick steps. Your stride rate might hit over 200 steps a minute. If you're really humming down a technical trail, you got to be dancing with the terrain. Quick feet, quick feet, think quick feet, light steps. It's better to sell yourself short on a step and instead of trying to jump a gap. You don't wanna have to try to overreach and overstride and potentially miss a rock when you could take a quick step, stutter step maybe, in between technical rocks. It's always better to take those quick light steps because you're more likely to not heel strike. You're more likely to land with your body mass centered with a slight forward lean, at least perpendicular to the downhill slope and to be in control. And if you're landing with less force, it's more likely you won't trip and fall as hard. It's more likely you could stay in control. And if you do turn an ankle, there won't be as much force behind it. So quick light steps is the second tip. Woo. Tip number three, and last tip for this video, you gotta pick your line on the trail. You have some undulation, you could kind of weave side to side. A lot of times that's better than trying to go straight across, right? There's a big jump here, uh, could be risky. It makes more sense to kind of slalom like you're skiing. Dance side to side. Imagine uh, if you're riding a mountain bike or you're skiing down these types of slopes, having a little side to side control will help control your speed, but also let you pick uh, your best line. It's more risky sometimes if you're trying to do a big jump and cut off distance than if instead you slow down and roll through these banked turns. So here I'm looking ahead. I'm looking ahead about, you know, 10, 15 feet. Depends how steep it is and how fast I'm going, but I'm scanning the ground at least you know 10 15 feet in front of me i'm anticipating my next several maybe my next dozen steps where i'm going to plant my feet where i'm going to pick my line down the slope to avoid obstacles uh it's a lot you get a lot of experience from riding mountain bikes or skiing or playing other sports in terms of being able to pick your line as you go down the slope Thanks for watching this quick trail running tip tutorial on downhill technical running. I got other training talk playlists on this channel, any surface, any distance. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing on here, liking these types of videos, sharing them on social media. I'm at Sage Candy on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Shout out to title sponsor, Hoka, keeping the dream alive. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more vlogs, training tips, advice. Thank you to the Patreon supporters for really making this channel possible. Hope you're doing well and stay tuned for more via 2 Max Productions.